Hi, we're so excited that you joined us today for our Oneness World Love Show. And today we have Monica. She's the most beautiful, talented artist. She's also one of our co-hosts for the show. And today we're going to highlight her and interview her on her love for art, the magic of her creations, and just everything in her world that really breeds love. We wanted to welcome Monica. Welcome, Monica. Thank you so much, Vila Portia. Thank you for having me in the show today. I'm so excited to be here with all of you. Oh, that's so kind, so sweet. So I can't wait to share with you all about Monica's artistic creations, her background, and what's so special about her and her art. She's actually not, um, how we would say, um, a trained artist, but her soul actually is very magical. And all of these art creations just blossom and bloom because of who she is and her heart is so open. And I really can't say enough about her. I love, if you, if you took a little bit of a peek of the painting behind of her, that's actually probably my favorite art piece um, that she's created, but she has many more. And I will turn the time over to her so she can share with you all about her magic. Thank you so much, Willow Forsha. Just this painting that we have behind us is called the Tree of Life. And basically what you see is these little hearts inside the fruits, which are the fruits and well, it's the seed of love, of the fruit of love from the Tree of Life. So basically what that is, is the, it's like the dream accomplished. The Tree of Life, that's the meaning, your manifestation accomplished. So, the interesting thing is that, like you said, I was never trained to be um, an artist. Uh, well, I have background in architecture and urban design, so kind of like the design part, but in school we never um, practiced anything with acrylics, like paintings, acrylic paintings. So this came about thanks to, uh, there's a world-renowned master healer and transformational teacher called Master Sha. And thanks to him, well, one of my friends gave me this book called Divine Soul Songs. And when we moved here to Alberta, we used to live in uh, Ontario when I arrived in Canada. I'm from, originally from Costa Rica. So basically, when we arrived in Alberta, I learned a lot about meditation and I was meditating on the snow at minus 30 outside yeah it's crazy but uh, <laughs> that's what you do here in Canada and so um, yes uh, I was starting to meditate and uh, at the same time I was listening to this CD that comes within the book of the Divine Soul Songs and this book is one of the best sellers for Master Shah he has many books it's amazing you guys gotta check it out so this really started to transform my life in this magical way. I suddenly start um, having visions, you know, for example, let's say I could throw out to, to the universe a message of a sentence. Let's say, I love uh, my family. And then an image will come out and then I will sketch it. And then I will put it onto the acrylic woods and all the process came out. I was guided also how to do the, um, the technique uh, because I never did it before. And uh, anyway, so I have no credit in this. Everyone, everything was divinely guided. So I'm very grateful to heaven uh, to be able to manifest in this um, magical way. Uh, it's, it's all thanks to them and thank you to Master Sha. And um, yeah, so it's really exciting. Just wanted to share with you to check out this book, Divine Soul Songs, as well. Oh, thank you, Monica. That's so beautiful. And I think it really inspires all of the people out there that think that you have to be trained to do something. It's not true. You just have to open your heart to the love and let heaven flow right through you. Let your higher guidance flow and let your guides and your... And that's actually how all the artists did it before. Really prolific artists and, you know, amazing painters and sculptors and all of this amazing 
Michelangelo and just beautiful work comes out through people's hearts and their connection to the divine. So on that note, Monica, would you share a little bit about divine love and um, you as a divine love teacher and your connection to the heart? Does that help to open up your, your channel and, and your creativity at all? Yes, yes, in fact, well, thank you so much for that question. Well, I am just, again, you know, I feel that uh, for me to um, open myself to art, it was really, um, it was really amazing. It helped me open my heart further. So I feel that that was one of the steps that led me to where I am today because actually I became a divine uh, love teacher thanks to um, Master Lee, which is a student of Master Sha. And, uh, and thanks to you, of course, as well, because uh, our beloved co-host has been my, my coach as well. So that's how I became a divine love teacher. And I find actually that this even opens even way, way more uh, my heart, uh, not only uh, to uh, be able to manifest uh, this kind of technique that we have here, but other new ones that are in process already in the mind and in my heart already, um, and they still need to be uh, manifested, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful, Monica. And, um, you know, we're gonna end this interview, but before we do, we just wanted to share, um, to keep an eye out on Monica's work and whatever she's doing, um, because she's manifested amazing artwork, but not just that. Um, she also is the coordinator for the concerts. I think we've had a, at least five um, concerts online. And um, she did the first one in three days and we had 80 people there. It was pretty amazing. She does the graphic work for the meetings and she does videos. So divine love and, and you know, and really studying, being a student of, of divine love and, and, you know, this connection really helps her, at least what I can see and what I can feel when I'm with her. And, and I've had the pleasure of not just being her co-host for the show, but we've been friends long before that for a few years. And um, Divine Love Book is actually how we met. I actually saw Monica online and she was doing a reading of Divine Love Book and she wasn't a student and she wasn't a teacher at that time, but she felt so impassioned by it that that's the first time I actually saw her um, online. And so I myself was very taken by her, her open heartedness and her love and her, her ability to share with people and, and really that fearlessness. And so Monica, if you could just leave people with maybe a inspirational message for people that want to create um, through love, would you share something as a last uh, message with us? Yes, of course. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I'll say that, you know, you just all you got to do is to open your heart and heaven will do the rest of the work. Because we had no idea that people could feel like vibration of like uh, heaven beings coming out of our art. You know, people start telling us, hey, we feel some energy, like uh, people that work with energy in that time, I didn't know anything about it. People that work with energy will touch the paintings and they say there's something emanating from the painting. And, you know, like I had no idea of anything like this. So, I mean, if I could do it, any one of you can do it. All you have to do is open your heart and heaven will guide you step by step. And you just have to enjoy it and take action, little step by little step. And, uh, Yes, I'm really looking forward that you can uh, learn more about also uh, being a student of the, the divine through the divine love book because that's what truly uh, for us also is helping us not only uh, with the, uh, this type of art manifesting but with other uh, projects along this one as well. So we really wish this for you, for all of you, and it's possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Monica. That's so beautiful. So we'll end on that note. And if you want to drop a comment below and let us know um, what inspires you and if you were inspired by today's um, show, 
Monica's beautiful art, her painting, her love, anything that you just want to share with us. We'd be so happy to hear from you. And we will see you next time on our um, show next week, okay? So please tune in. Thank you so much for being with both of us, and we wish you all the love in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao.